before you start placing your references in 3D Studio Max, make sure you create folder and place all your references. So back, front, right and left side. Next, open one of the images in Photoshop or any other program and check the image size. Also, the resolution doesn't need to be so big. If you see any uh, distortion in 3D Studio Max, when you place your references, lower resolution. So let's open 3D Studio Max. In front view, create simple plane. You don't need segment division, so one by one it's fine. And next thing, let's adjust length and width. So before you do this, you need to decide what you're using. Are you using uh, meters, centimeters, or you using feet or any other measurements? You can go to unit setup and change it to metric, to use a standard, or you can create your custom or use generic. I use meters for this one. Next, I'll adjust the plane based on the size of the image. So mine is 3 by 6. It doesn't need to be exactly, just close by. So in 3D Studio Max, type your numbers under parameters. So 2 by 6. And we do that so the image will not stretch. Next, you can rescale, use uniform scale to make your plane larger and keep the ratio same. Next, center your plane on X, Y and Z axis. Right click, go to Object Properties, click back face calling, remove edges and frozen in gray and click OK. So what happens, this plane is visible only from one side. Next, move plane away on the axis and go to hierarchy, affect pivot point and move the pivot to the middle. And I'm doing this because we'll use array to create four more planes. So I have my first plane and I need three more. So I go to Tools, Array, I'm looking for Rotation, 360. I use Copy, I need only four planes and I can preview. Click OK. I can leave those planes as they are or I can place them next to each other. To do that, I select any plane. I'll go to Snaps, right click, set up vertex only. So turn my snaps on, select one, snap, and snap again, and one more time. Okay, so I have all my planes together. So now I can start placing my references. So let's save it. So go save as. And I'll go to my folder. And name this file. And I always like to save in increments. So if something happens, I just go back one version. Okay, hit M for materials and place all your image references. So let's start with front and you can name it. Next, uh, back. So let's go get back. And name back. 
And the next one will be right. And one more. Left side. And we start applying them. So go to your front view and select the front plane. Next, select your shader with the map on it. Click Assign Material. And if it doesn't show, click Show Shaded. So I have my front. Now I that will be my back. And now is the tricky one. So this one should be facing towards the back. And the other side. And there you go. Now I want to center all the planes on the middle, but before I do this, I'll group it. So select all your planes, make sure all of them selected. Go to group, group. You can name the group if you want to, it's not necessary. Again, center the whole thing. And if you prefer you can start modeling on the middle or you can place it your references on the ground level so before you start modeling right click and free selection and you are ready to model thank you